Life comes with a lot of decisions, and it can be hard to know the right path sometimes. A therapist can help you map out what you really want, so you trust yourself to make great choices and feel excited about the future. BetterHelp offers convenient professional online therapy on your schedule, however you want it, by phone, chat, or video call. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash positive today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash positive. All right, welcome back in, everybody, to Sports Daily. It's all Brockton Caster. Glad to be here with you on this Wednesday. Um, Andrew is watching us on our video stream right now, asks... Uh, with a little pop-up rain shower. What's a sport that you enjoy, follow, watch, but rarely discuss on Sports Daily? Um, You know, there are teams that we watch, enjoy, and follow that we don't discuss a whole lot, I think, on the show. That's an easy answer for me. It would be the Rangers. Um, You know, I, I as, as far as sport... Boy, Tommy, I, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty traditional sports fan. I'm pretty much a football, baseball, basketball. That's all I got time for. Uh, I, I mean, I have a feeling I know the answer to yours, but I don't I, think you do. I, I would say hockey, right? Do. Just a little bit of hockey no. in there. Well, I mean, that's my full time job is right with the Wichita Thunder. Um, but I, honestly, I'm not a major hockey fan. Like I, I, right, right, right. I, I watch the our NHL games, level. obviously, you but watch I'm not, a lot. Of I'm not watching there. NHL a whole lot. Yeah. Um, obviously golf. I mean, I'm a big golf guy. We talk about golf every once in a while, but honestly, this is really obscure. And I, um, my wife makes fun of me about it. There is nothing better that I enjoy than like on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning, turning on the TV to like the outdoor channel and watching fishing. Uh, and I don't, I don't really fish. Like I can fish. I, I just don't do it very regularly, but something about like, those guys out on a lake and they're typically like middle-aged dudes and you know, they're it's similar they're to fishing. I, li- I just like sitting back and watching that. It's very calm, very peaceful, very relaxing. So my yeah, answer would it, probably be, I, I think a lot of that is probably the same reason you like golf. And, and, yeah. and I don't, I don't watch that. I don't think there is one. I could come back to this if necessary. There are, when the Olympics come around, there are obscure Olympic sports. I enjoy, I like curling. Like when we get to the Winter okay. Olympics and you get like late night curling, I think it's cool. I love shuffleboard, right? So so curling. Um, I mean, I like to play pickleball. Pretty sure I would never watch it. I'm not a tennis guy, uh, not a soccer guy, not an auto racing guy. So I don't know that I really have one, to be honest. Mine would be more okay. teams, but no, I, I mean, I pretty much watch football, baseball, basketball, and that – you know, that takes me through most of the year of the TBT. But of course, we talk about that as the aftershocks sure. lose last night. But, you know, we do talk about the TBT a lot, but I've really grown to enjoy that. Uh, you know, high school sports, not not specifically a sport, but we obviously with with work, I watch a lot of high school sports. We don't talk a ton of high school sports here. We do some when there's great athletes and those kinds of things, and and when we get into that portion of the season, and we try to. Are have you a, a poker segment. guy? Do you watch the World Series of? Poker? You know what? I did love to watch poker. I don't as yeah. much anymore. I love to play poker, and I did mm-hmm. love to watch poker. So when I played a lot of poker, I watched a lot of poker because I think you can learn, right? And so that's a good one. I, I, I there will be a point in time probably soon that I will try to get to playing poker like once a week again. I, I Our family loves to play cards. Like when we go home in my family, like everybody, kids, grownups everywhere. Like my dad was teaching us to gamble and play poker when we were little, right? Like everything was a bet. Like I'll bet you can't do that. Or, you know, like uh, I, I remember on the golf course one time, speaking of golf, we were, there was like a, a long putt. We were at like the par three course in town and I was grounded, I think, but I was playing golf with dad. And I was like, if I make this putt, I'm ungrounded, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. We, and, and of course it's like, all right, fine. I made that putt by the way, maybe the best putt, greatest putt I've ever made in my life. Um, but yeah, poker is a really good one, man. I love poker. I love poker. And we have a casino right down the road with a great right. poker room. And, and I like, I just don't have time for these things anymore. And, it, you know, at some point, I'm going to play a ton yeah. of golf and poker. 
And I, I played make, a lot of poker for a while, like in my single days and really enjoyed it. I, yeah. I liked watching the World Series of Poker. I got invited to a poker night uh, not that long ago, and I went to it. I was able to make it work. And, um, and then they told me, yeah, we do this, like, I think every week or every other week. Um, we'd love to have you back. And in my mind, I'm like, there is no way my wife is going to go for this. Like, there's no way that I can just say, all right, every week I will be here to make that happen. But someday uh, I'd love to get back into poker. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's a it's a mental exercise. I love going to Vegas and jumping in a poker tournament. You know, it's hours on end, but it's fun. It's exhilarating. It's nerve wracking. It's you know, you make friends with the most random people at the poker table it's it's cool that's a good one but thanks for the question there andrew um as we make our way through here all right we'll come back now we'll we'll get into our first full segment of the second hour and we'll kind of bring this herbert thing into the radar of patrick mahomes and what that potentially could mean uh for pat and how it relates of course to chris jones and it's all sort of tied hand in hand there's a little reporting Uh, on Chris Jones yesterday, and again, it's probably all just semantics from the bargaining, but we'll we'll get into all of it as we make our way through. We'll look a little closer at the Aftershocks and their loss, but a a great atmosphere for them as well coming up in the second hour. Your calls to the IHOP hotline, 869-1240, or you can leave us comments on our video chats. We'll have some wind surge tickets to give away. Uh, Congratulations to our HTOT giveaway winner. We'll have it all coming up for you in hour number two of Sports Daily right after this. So, we've got a number one deluxe meal. Is there anything else I can get you? Yeah, I'd also like a good night's sleep. Excuse me, sir? You know, the I didn't struggle all night with my uncomfortable CPAP mask, or something like the my wife didn't kick me out to sleep on the couch because of my constant tossing and turning. Sir, we don't have anything like that here. I think what you're looking for is Inspire. It's an implant that works inside your body to treat sleep apnea without a CPAP. That way you can breathe normally and rest more soundly. Come on! He sounds angry. Inspire is the only FDA-approved sleep apnea treatment of its kind. It's helping tens of thousands of people finally get restful sleep. To learn more, visit InspireSleep.com. That's InspireSleep.com. Inspire, sleep apnea innovation. Inspire is not for everyone. Talk to your doctor to see if it's right for you and review important safety information at InspireSleep.com.